show you a blitz setup out of the nickel 3-3 cub from the Mike Blitz zero defense that still brings a gap pressure from a safety who's lined up at the middle linebacker position. With the new patch that just dropped, it's really changed the way a lot of these blitz setups that we set up early here in Madden 24 as far as getting the pressure on the quarterback and the loop blitz and some of those A and B gap blitzes that you've seen may not work as well. However, there are some defenses you can still bring the A gap pressure. For example, one of the more popular defensive formations in the game throughout the early part of the Madden 24 season has indeed been the nickel 3-3 Cub. The Mike Blitz Zero is probably one of the most notorious blitzes when it comes to bringing pressure on a quarterback. And you can still do it here. Now, if you notice here, I've got a safety lined up at the middle linebacker position. So I'm gonna show you how to get pressure with him where he'll shoot through the A gap. And to do that, all you wanna do is slant the defensive line to the left, such as what I'm showing on your screen right there. Next thing is you're gonna pinch the defense or shift it down. In this case, we'll pinch the defense right there as you look at your screen right there. The next thing you want to do is you want to take control of the uh, free safety here and you're going to bring him into the a gap now notice i've got him lined up tighter to the nose tackle than i do towards the left end as you look at your screen now what's going to happen is he's going to end up shooting through the a gap and applying the pressure to quarterback you may also end up getting some pressure coming from the left outside linebacker as well let's go ahead and run this and then we'll go into the X and O's of the play and we'll tell the straight and I'll show you a little bit more how the block and everything shapes up with this particular defense. And right there you can see I get the pressure on the quarterback pretty quick. So let's go into the X and O's of the play. And then towards the end of the video breakdown, I want to show you one advanced setup you can do with this. It's pretty much the same setup, but we're going to move one of the defensive linemen that's going to help widen up the gap a little bit. Now, I can't always say that's going to work, but I'm going to show it to you later in the video breakdown towards the end. But let's go into the X and O's of the play. From the top down view, you get a better idea exactly how the pass blocking shapes up with this particular setup that I'm showing out of the nickel 3-3 Cub Mike Blitz Zero. And as I run through this, I want you guys to pay attention to this guy, this particular offensive lineman that's going to be the right tackle. Now, as we go through this, he's kind of the key to this because he's not going to block anybody as you watch this. So let's go through it real quick here. So as far as the blocking shapes up, the left tackle is going to block the outside linebacker. Now, this is Parsons out here, which is why I have him here, just in case he can use his edge rush threat abilities as far as his special abilities and get into the quarterback. And then lined up here is going to be the left guard. He's going to block this guy right here. Now, this is going to be the right end. And then the center, now he's going to block this nose tackle. Now, I'm going to tell you on occasion, depending on maybe the formation on the offensive side of things, sometimes with this setup, what will happen is the nose tackle will actually end up getting the pressure on the quarterback. So I'm going to recommend for you guys, go ahead and put a fast defensive lineman lined up at, the, at that nose tackle position because on occasion, he will actually loop around here and actually shoot through the A gap himself and get a pressure on the quarterback. I know it didn't show it here in the video breakdown, but on occasion that might happen. So I want to point that out to you as far as this, because it could happen in getting that pressure. Now, with that said, as I just pointed out, the center does block him. And then as we continue on with the blocking here, the right guard, he's going to go ahead and look to block this guy right here, which is going to be the left end. And as you watch this, this guy right here, which is this uh, right tackle, he's going to slide in, at least initially, and look to block to the inside. And then that's going to allow the uh, left outside linebacker to get pressure on a quarterback. Now, the one thing I did here is, remember I talked about putting a safety here and subbing him in at the middle linebacker position as you look at it. I also went ahead and moved Vanderdesh, which is probably the second best linebacker that I got. Well, actually, he is the best linebacker, if you don't count Parsons as a linebacker. I went ahead and subbed him out here at the uh, left outside linebacker position. Just keep that in mind if you're following along. You guys can do however you want, depending on what team and what you feel like you guys need to do. But as you watch this, you can see right there what I was just talking about earlier. You see how he right here, this guy right here, this uh, right tackle slides in and now he's looking to block towards this direction here. He's looking to come in and help block this guy right here, the safety, but there's no way he's going to get over there fast enough. And by the time he turns around, 
he has no chance of blocking Vanderdush either. And that's why we end up getting the pressure on the quarterback. Now, as you can see out here on the coverages, everything is pretty tight for the most part. Obviously, they could throw a quick pass here if they wanted to. You know, they could have threw the ball possibly right to the tight end for a quick bullet pass. Now, there's some adjustments. We could have brought the safety down and all that and got him closer. I'm just showing, just showing you guys the general setup of this. You guys might want to make some adjustments as far as uh, moving guys around and stuff like that. And then the other option possibly would have been a running back over here in the flat over here as he goes out towards the right there. But other than that, the uh, it's pretty, as far as getting the pressure on the quarterback, you can see that we get pretty quick. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the ticker here as far as the pass rush ticker. We'll show you how fast we got to the quarterback. All right, we got the ticker up. Let's see how fast we can get pressure on the quarterback from that safety who blitzes through that A-gap. So let's go ahead and run through and see how fast we got there. So right there, we just got there in just over two seconds, which is pretty nice as far as bringing pressure here in Madden 24, despite the new patch and as far as changing up the way the pass blocking works. But with that said, you can still get the pressure on the quarterback. Now I want to show you guys one more thing you guys can do that's what I'm going to call an advanced setup. Now, it doesn't always work because it all depends on what happens with this defensive lineman that I'm about to move here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, now what I want to show you is how to go ahead and bring that same pressure, but this time I want to make one adjustment, and that's going to be the slide the left end out one notch to the right after I set everything up. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So the same setup as before, we're going to go ahead and slant the defensive line to the left as you look at your screen. Then we want to pinch the defensive line down, or the defense, and then we're going to simply take control, in this case, is going to be the left end. Now, we want to slide him over one notch and switch off of him as quick as we can. And then you'll notice that he didn't slide back. As you look at it, he still lined up across from the right tackle. And then we're just going to take control of the safety and do the same thing we did before. We're just going to put him into this A-gap right here next to the nose tackle. And a lot of times, he'll end up shooting through the uh, A-gap and applying the pressure on the quarterback, much like I just shown before. The only difference is is now that we got the um, the left end lined up a little further out wider and there it should create a bigger gap for the safety to blitz through and apply the pressure on the quarterback let's go ahead and run it see what happens here right there you can see that we get the pressure on the quarterback and we still get the the left outside linebacker as well so at any rate guys this is a blitz setup that you guys can set up that's going to still bring you guys the a gap pressure that you're looking for out of the three three cub especially out of this Mike Blitz zero defense and still apply that pressure on the quarterback. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. There's plenty of blitzes out there despite the patch being out. So just stick around and we'll keep breaking it down for you guys right here on the Madden Guys YouTube channel.